In this video, I will show you how to create custom image slider as shown in the simulator using page view widget. This image slider consists of two functionalities which allows you to scroll manually and it can scroll automatically according to a timer. So I will guide you through the code step by step starting from an empty column widget. Before we dive into the code, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for the latest video. Firstly, you have to prepare images. So here I have added three images to be displayed. You can add any number of images you prefer as long as it's more than one. Now display the image using image.assets and pass in a random image path. Make sure your image shown successfully in the simulator before you continue. Next, we will create a custom stateless widget to hold the image. I will call it image placeholder. In this image placeholder widget class, it will return the image asset. Don't forget to set feed parameter to boxfeed.cover so the image fill the whole space. Now the problem with this widget class is that currently it will create the same widget for every widget created because we pass in a static image path. To make it dynamic, we have to provide a parameter to the class and make the image assets take the dynamic value. We have now done with our image placeholder class. Coming back to the column widget, firstly, I will create a size box with infinity width and a quarter of the screen height using media query. Next, in the child widget, use pageview.builder to build the images. Image placeholder widget will be returned in the item builder. But there are some other parameters we need to fill. Firstly, item count. Here I will create a list of string that holds the images path. The item count will be the length of this list because it's the number of images to be displayed. Next, in the item builder, is where we return the image widget. So for this, I will create a list of widget variable and set it to late initialization. Then in init state function, I will use list.generate function to generate three image placeholder class widgets with each image path respectively. Now coming back to the item builder, we just have to return the list of widget. Now let's test it out in the simulator. So as you can see, we now achieve image slider manual scroll effect, which you can only slide manually between images. However, there is no page indicator that shows which image I'm currently seeing. Now I will show you how to add page indicator to the image slider. Firstly, we have to wrap the size box widget in a stack widget. This is because the page indicator have to stack on top of the images. Now we will add the code for page indicator. Firstly, create a container widget with transparent color. Then add a row widget to the container child 
in the row widget, I will use list.generate function to generate three circle avatar. I will set the circle avatar radius to 4 and a yellow background color. Let's try it out in a simulator. So as you can see, it's currently positioned on the top left. We can add a position widget to set it to bottom. Then we can set the row widget main axis alignment to center to move the circle avatar to center. Next, I will add padding to the circle avatar so they don't stick together. Now it looks much better in the simulator. However, the circle avatar doesn't show which image currently in. We can handle it by creating an integer value. By default, it's set to 0, which is the first image. Then in the circle avatar background color, we can check if the integer value is equal to the index. We will set it to yellow, else will be gray color. The page indicator looks much better now. Other than sliding through images, you can also add an on tap function in the circle avatar so that you can tap on the circle avatar to show the image directly. To achieve that, we need to create a page controller. And the initial page is set to zero. Assign this page controller to the page view builder controller parameter. Now in the on tap function, we can call page controller dot animate to page function and pass in the index. I will set the duration to three hundred milliseconds with curve dot is in. With this on tap function, you can now slide from page 1 to 3 immediately without sliding one by one. Next, it seems like the page indicator is not responsive yet. So in our page view builder on page change parameter, add a set state method to update the current page index to the active page variable. Now as you can see in the simulator, when the page changed, the page indicator changed as well. As of now, we have completed creating image slider with manual effects and on tap effect. Lastly, I will show you how to create automatic scroll effect using timer. So firstly, we have to create a timer and a function. This function will start the timer and animate the images. So here I will use the timer.periodic function. In this function, I will set the duration to 3 seconds. So every 3 seconds, it will execute the following function. In the function, firstly, we have to check if pagecontroller.page is equal to image path dot length minus one. This mainly checks if the current page is the last image. If yes, then we'll call the page controller to animate back to the first page which is index zero and you can set the duration and curves as well. Else, if it's not the last page, we will just call the page controller dot next page function to animate to the next image.
Now we have completed the timer function. I will execute this function in init state method. Now let's test it out in the simulator. So as you can see, I can scroll manually, tap to change image. And now if I don't touch it, it will slide automatically. Lastly, don't forget to dispose the timer. So this is how you create custom image slider using page view widget. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.